Hey, what's up, YouTube? Let's prove the following. The derivative of an odd function is even, and then the second claim is that the derivative of an even function is odd. So let's try it. Proof. So let's do the first one first. So we have to prove that the uh, derivative of an odd function is even. So we have to start by assuming we have an odd function, and then take its derivative, and then show it's even. So suppose f is odd. Right, so we have an odd function. This means, what does it mean to be odd? This means for every x in the domain of the function, f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, and this is true for all x. I'll just say for all x, and by for all x, we mean for all x in the um, domain of the function. All right, so now we have to show that uh, the derivative is an even function. So how do we do that? I actually don't know. I haven't done this problem. So what I'm thinking is that we have to take the derivative of this function. So maybe take the derivative of both sides of this equation. So differentiate, differentiating, let's see what happens. I hope it works. <laughs> uh, when you take the derivative of the left-hand side, uh, what, what you end up getting is f prime of negative x times the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule, right? So the derivative of negative x is negative 1. And on the left-hand side, well, the negative hangs out, so we just get negative f prime of x. And this is true for all x. So, so this, is, this holds for all x, right? Because we said for all x differentiating, and this is true for all x. So what happens then? So then, let's simplify this and see what happens. So then we have negative f prime of negative x equals negative f prime of x. So you can divide by negative 1, so you get f prime of negative x is equal to f prime of x. Oh, that's precisely what it means for a function to be even, because this is true for all x. So this shows that f prime is even. So this shows f prime is even. Now, is there a more elegant way to do it? Maybe, but that's how you figure it out. I mean, we just we just figured out how, how to do it. So let's try the second one, proof. So for the second one, we have to suppose we have an even function and then show that it has an odd derivative. So we'll start by assuming we have an even function. So suppose f is even. Then we'll write down what it means, right? So this means, so even functions eat negative signs. This means that f of negative x is equal to f of x for all x, and for all x for which you know the function makes sense, for all x in the domain of the function. And let's just take the derivative and, and see if it works. It probably will. So differentiating, differentiating both sides of this equation, Again, we'll use the chain rule on the left-hand side, so it's f prime of negative x times the derivative of the inside, which is negative 1. And over here, we just get f prime of x. And this is true for all x, right? For all x, for which the function is defined. So this means that negative f prime of negative x is equal to f prime of x. And if you multiply by negative 1, this means that f prime of negative x is equal to negative f prime of x, which is the definition of odd for the derivative. And this is true for all x. So f prime is odd. So it kind of, kind of did that pretty quickly. But hopefully this video was instructive in the sense that it shows you how to prove something from scratch. I mean, this is exactly how I would have figured it out, because I actually figured it out while doing it, while making this video. So in the first case, we wanted to show that the derivative of an odd function is even. So you have to start with an odd function to do this. So we start by assuming that f is odd, okay? And then we have to show that the derivative is even. So we take the derivative, oh, so, sorry, we, so we take the derivative, yeah, of the odd function, right? We did that here, and we just go from there, so. In the second case, uh, we wanted to show the derivative of an even function is odd. We started with an even function. We wrote down what it means for a function to be even. 
And then you have this equation, so all you can really do is differentiate it. Just like up here, right? When we wrote down what it meant for a function to be odd, the natural thing to do was differentiate. Why? Well, because we wanted to show the derivative uh, was even. So differentiating this equation gave us uh, what we wanted. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.